At Savitha University, Professor Pratiba Ramani is using the fingerprints of children as a dental diagnostic tool. Based on her study of 12,000 fingerprints, Professor Ramani says she can predict which children are most prone to future cavities by counting the loops, whorls, and arches. In a nutshell, people with more number of whorls, they are more prone for caries. Females having whorls in their middle finger, beware. Men having whorls in their little fingers, beware. It's an astonishing claim. More whorls mean more cavities. More loops mean less. Professor Romani's approach is based on the fact that we know our teeth and fingerprints grow out of the same fetal cells in the developing embryo. So the tooth development and the formation of the fingers, especially the fingertips, are very much identical. Professor Romani's discovery is not just academic. She and her team read the children's fingerprints identify those most at risk, then give them free dental checkups. At the end of the day, yes, what we have done is correct, and definitely there is a correlation. It may have relation to other diseases. This may also be indicator of some other uh, thing, but at least as a professional, as a dental professional, we can go and tell a child that you can prevent a caries formation. Dr. Romani has agreed to put her powers of prediction to the test. Brett Hartley is an entertainer with a mouthful of bad teeth. I've had bad teeth ever since I've known. At the age of 26, they just started falling out. So B16 loops and the four words were there. To my subject of interest, must be definitely prone to dental caries. Definitely. And I'm sure he must be having a bad teeth. I am a strong believer of uh, Indian culture, but I am a scientist too. So I have always loved to relate the ancient uh, wisdom. So I always thought our ancestors were more scientific and there had to be a basis for everything what they had done.